Monday, June 17th, 2019, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, this evening, I want to talk about Mark Carney, uh, the Canadian governor of the Bank of England. Uh, he does have British uh, citizenship and Irish citizenship, but I would suspect that he probably moved back to Canada uh, next year. I think he, his term as governor expires uh, in January of 2020. Uh, and I want to talk about how he must be laughing all the way to the bank with a package that uh, was offered to him by uh, George Osborne, uh, who was then Chancellor of the Exchequer uh, when he took over as governor from Mervyn King on July 1st, 2013. I think he's getting a, an A plus uh, from the bankers for what he's doing and from the government. But from the British public, he gets an F for trashing the currency of this country. Uh, well, and I've got the, the numbers here. Uh, against the dollar, uh, the, pa the pound was at 152.25 when he took over. Right now, as I speak here, uh, the pound continues to drop. It's at 125.36, down 0.4 of a percent. So uh, we've lost 17.6%. Uh, versus the dollar, the reserve currency of the world. So since he's taken over, uh, British public is uh, almost 20% poorer uh, than, Amer than Americans. Uh, against a, a measure that has a lot more importance, I would say, uh, than the dollar, the fiat dollar or the Federal Reserve note, gold, uh, we've lost our currency or the Bank of England note is lost 30.88% since he took over as governor of the Bank of England. Uh, the pound, uh, the price of gold was at 816 pounds on July 1st. Today, as I speak uh, this evening, uh, one ounce of gold is 1,068 pounds. So 30.88% uh, haircuts. So is it any wonder that the general public feels, uh, how can I say, the pain? Uh, people are upset. Is it a, any wonder that the public voted for Brexit, even uh, though it was uh, almost three years ago now? Uh, no, it's no wonder. Uh, and people are fed up uh, when they're told also by uh, the government, by the bankers, by mainstream economists, that the economy is doing well. How can the British economy uh, be doing well when uh, the currency that we use has lo lost a third of its value uh, in the last six years. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, with Mr. Carney at the helm at the Bank of England. Am I uh, having a go at him because he's Canadian? No, <laughs> I'm just saying that because I think uh, he's probably happy he can move back to Canada after he leaves uh, in 2020. I don't think people are going to be very happy here uh, in this country uh, going forward. I think we're going to get, you know, inflation is going to keep going up, even though we're told uh, that the measures of inflation are under control. Uh, the cost of living is, is rising and people feel it. And it's going to get worse uh, because the pound is going to keep dropping. And I don't think it will change either uh, with a new governor. They're going to keep doing the same thing. So this is not just having a go at Mark Carney. But um, he must be laughing. And I'd like to ask him at those press conferences that they have, you know, at the, at, after the uh, MPC meetings, you get the mainstream uh, financial press asking him questions. Why don't they ask him, you know, where do you put uh, the money that you've been earning these last six years? Are you putting it in pounds? Because you're doing a crappy job of keeping the value of that currency. And how much money does uh, Mr. Carney make? Well, let's have a look here. Wageindicator.co.uk. Uh, this is the, you know, how much uh, central bankers uh, or bankers make. And we've got Mark Carney, governor of the Bank of England, born 1965, Canada, married, four children, annual salary, 880,042 pounds, monthly, 73,336 pounds, weekly, 16,923,000, 
daily, 3,384. So uh, Mr. Carney uh, is making uh, in a week, probably, you know, what uh, most uh, of the average working class people in England are making in a year. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to wonder where is he putting his money? And part of that as well, and this is all the taxpayer who's paying him and they're paying him to make sure that he, uh, well, they don't know that of course, but uh, he's doing a great job of trashing uh, the currency of the people who are paying his uh, salary. Uh, so it's amazing uh, that people, you know, accept they think he's a great central banker. That's what George Osborne said when he uh, decided to pick him. He said one was the 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 you know one of the greatest central bankers of his generation. Uh, so, I mean, uh, what a joke. Uh, the other thing I like to talk about Mark Carney uh, is that uh, George Osborne, that great chancellor who said that the, the budget deficit was going to be uh, balanced by 2015. We're still running a budget deficit, deficit today. He, uh, he had to uh, entice him to become governor of the Bank of England with, uh, with uh, rent. So here's a story from the Mail Online, Daily Mail from 2017. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has been given one million pounds to pay his rent. That's 5,000 pounds a week. So out of that uh, 16,923 a week, 5,000 of that is just for him to pay his rent. You know, you have to wonder why he needs all that money <laughs> if he's getting his rent paid. 5,000 pounds a week rent. So I'll read the story here. It says, Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has raked in one million pounds in housing allowances since starting his role in 2013. This means Mr. Carney receives 5,000 pounds per week to help with his rent as part of a benefits package agreed by George Osborne. The then chancellor offered the lucrative deal to tempt the former drum roll, brrr, Goldman Sachs banker across the ponds and make up for London's expensive property prices. <laughs> well, uh, I think George Osborne needs to be held to account for this as well, even though he's not, I don't think he's uh, an MP anymore. Uh, I'm not too sure. He's not in government uh, since uh, Theresa May took over a few years ago. He's not the chancellor anymore. Uh, he became uh, governor of the Bank of Canada, uh, let's see, in February 2008. So after that, in 2013, he took over as governor of the Bank of England. And uh, he's done very well for himself. Uh, I wonder what, uh, in what currency he placed some of his surplus, um, what is it again? <laughs> Uh, 16,000, almost 17,000 pounds a week. I wonder uh, if he left that in pounds at the Bank of England or if he actually bought some gold sovereigns or he might have also put it in US dollars. I would say both of them. It would be interesting if some of the uh, mainstream press, you know, the financial prostitutes, as uh, Gerald Salente would call them, would actually ask him the question. You know, uh, Governor Carney, you've uh, trashed our currency uh, by almost 31% against gold since you've been, been uh, governor. Uh, we, you know, I wonder where you've put or your excess, uh, you know, salary or wages in which currency you've put them. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure they won't. So let's have a quick look at the uh, British pound chart versus the dollar. So I've got here, Mark Carney assumed the office of governor of the Bank of England, July 1st, 2013. Uh, British pound at 152.25. You can't really see it in this chart, but I've got this here from the Bank of England. So you can see that on July 1st, uh, the pound is at $1.5225. Right now, we're breaking a key uh, trend line here in this weekly chart and th this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video uh, this is especially important for my British viewers 
but also important for every viewer around the world because this is what happened to fiat currencies. They keep getting debased and it's going to get worse uh, because the central bankers are going to keep uh, inflating the system. They're going to keep printing money and going to keep uh, rates uh, at zero or even negative. So the pound here is breaking key support, as you can see. Uh, it's only a matter of time when we test 120 and things are going to get worse. Uh, it will be interesting to see on the day that uh, Mark Carney leaves uh, the Bank of England where uh, the pound and the price of gold in pounds will be. And uh, it will be also interesting to see if he uh, leaves to Canada right away. I think he will. Or he might even go to Ireland. He also have an, has an Irish passport. So there you have it. A plus from the bankers and the government. F from the general public for Mark Carney, governor of the Bank of England. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you also share it far and wide to open the public's eyes about uh, what the central bankers and the bankers are doing to currencies all around the world and especially here in the UK. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Steemit, and on DTube. I wish you all a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye.